small one. 30, 32 inch softbox, very, very nice light source. It's like a small little window used uh, for very controlled lighting. The most though is the uh, 60 inch softbox. Uh, small families, small groups, individuals, head and shoulder shots, children, babies. Uh, again, it's very, very soft and very controlled at the same time. And I'm going to set up my lights and show you exactly how I use it in the studio setting. Uh, inside, I've taken the baffle out. Most soft boxes come with a baffle. Uh, you can see I've taken it out. There's absolutely no baffle in there because the baffle will just soften it a lot. And uh, James likes to really get in there and show all kinds of cavernous parts of the soft box. So we're going to set up this light on our light source. Right like so. Now I like to bring it up oh, somewhat at an angle, not necessarily too high. So we've got our hair light. And I'm going to lose this light here. Because I'm going to introduce another background light. Remember we talked about our reflectors with our grids. Uh, this is what I'm going to use now. It's a background light with a reflector with a 20 degree honeycomb grid inside there. And it's going to create a, a glow in the middle of the uh, picture that spreads out with a defined line but not too sharp. Okay, so we've got our kicker light, we've got our hair light, and we've got our background light, we've got our main light, and here's our fill light. Here it goes. The fill light is nothing more than those two white uh, pieces of canvas that are going to take the softbox light and bounce it back into Renee's face. So for me, we can just lean in over there. So we, there we go. It's nice. Cool. This is a lighting that I use a lot. I would say 80% of the time. And uh, I talked about it in our other uh, quick and dirty lighting tutorial. Very similar. And uh, um, you can place the the reflector. Remember I talked about the reflector, the one that's going to catch the main light and it's going to bounce back up and create nice catch lights in the eyes. You can place it immediately under the uh, soft box, or you can bring it over here some more. Following, sorry, the same guidelines. I just stepped on Renee's toes. And. The important thing to remember is that you go right to where the subject is and see. You have to verify that the reflection is coming back into her or his face. Guys don't like it when you get too close, so it makes them a little uncomfortable. But uh, you got to do it. I mean, you have to verify that that light is there and it's coming in here. It's all about control. It's all about lighting control. So um, that's our basic uh, lighting for the studio. So I'm just going to take a quick... Just tilt your head this way a bit. Good. Turn your head just a slight bit. Good. Okay. That's nice. Cool. Softbox lighting is very, very functional, very popular with many photographers. In this particular sample here, you can see I workflowed the image and uh, added a little more enhancing and retouching, but nevertheless, the lighting is still exemplified also by the uh, catch lights within the eyes as indicated by my red arrows here. Very, very important element to any portrait. And... Uh, just to further exemplify some of the stuff that can be done to a portrait to enhance it, you can tell I've worked on the catch lights in Photoshop here and I've actually made a black and white image and I've increased the contrast and increased it a little bit more. This is all to show to you that if you have a good image with good lighting and a good exposure, that is the basis for everything. Whatever it is you do with the image later in Photoshop, but it really all starts with really, really good lighting.